During the New Era of Work event from Microsoft, that focused primarily on Windows Copilot and Surface devices, we finally got the full reveal of the Surface Pro 10 alongside the Laptop 6, and it's on its way to becoming the best Surface experience you can get right now. However, if you had to choose, should you go for the Surface Pro 10 or just go for the old reliable Galaxy Book 4 Pro? Would the Surface Pro 10 mean an upgrade or the opposite? Find all that out and more in our video today. While retaining the iconic detachable design that gave the Surface products its signature charm, the Surface Pro 10 makes use of the same PixelSense Flow 13-inch 120Hz display that comes with a resolution of 2880 by 1920 and a relatively boxy 3 by 2 aspect ratio. The brightness has also seen a big upgrade since the Surface Pro 10 is rated for 600 nits. Another aspect of an upgrade was in the front camera itself, which houses a 1440p camera instead of a 1080p one while having the AI advantages, such as automatic framing, that keeps you in the frame and blurs out everything else. Samsung, on the other hand, comes in a fairly light and portable package, considering it has a giant 16-inch screen that feels dense and premium and comes with an OLED display, giving it a super accurate and rich sense of colors. The overall design language as always remains top-notch, and it comes with an all-metal chassis and is impressively thin. Brightness, though, comes with a 500 nits limit when displaying HDR. The screen comes with an aspect ratio of 3 by 2, with a pixel resolution of 2800 by 180 on a 120 hertz screen, which we must say is a pretty fluid loadout for a laptop any day. The webcam is a simple yet useful Full HD one that won't win awards or anything, but it'll get the job done. For the hardware, the elephant in the room is the Core Ultra processors for the Surface Pro 10, as you get a choice between either a Core Ultra 5 135U or Core Ultra 7 165U chip, a massive upgrade from their predecessor, no doubt. Pair it up with the base spec of 8GB memory that's expandable all the way up to 64GB, the inclusion of built-in Intel graphics can be overlooked to a certain degree. You'll also get a 256GB Gen 4 SSD with two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports with a Microsoft Surface Connect port for changing. Speaking of, the combination of the new Intel chips and the battery grand the Surface Pro 10 with a promising 19 hours of battery life. On the flip side, the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 comes with a relatively iterative upgrade on their predecessor, with the biggest change being the effective boost from Intel 13th Gen to the brand new Core Ultra chips, 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes SSD to boot, which is expandable. This results in a fairly comfortable performance in a demanding productivity session, as expected, all with you not having to deal with unnecessary fan noises. Apart from that, despite having an average 63 watt-hour battery, the Galaxy Book 4 Pro can manage an impressive 18 hours of runtime on a full charge, and it comes included with a 65 watts USB charger that can get you back to 100% charge in one and a half hours. Now, as always, the choice between the two depends on your priorities and what you're looking to do with a PC. The Surface Pro 10 comes offering a versatile, detachable design that's perfect for people who are looking for a hybrid between a tablet and a laptop that harnesses the power of a Core Ultra processor with a 1440p front KM to spice up those FaceTime or video calls. However, the Galaxy Book 4 Pro shines through with a sleek design, a 16-inch OLED display, and a solid performance-oriented setup that's perfect for creative individuals and a better pick for media consumption. Regardless, do let us know which one you go with, as we'd love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.